everyone. Don't mind that missing nail. <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is Kara May, and welcome to my channel. And if you are aware of who I am and you're a lavender, then welcome back to my channel. So I'm in the middle of, right now, uploading a short sort of cover, short cover. Um... <clears throat> Just so that I can have something for content and not just concert footage of Billie Eilish in the darkness, which I have been doing lately. <laughs> but I do have my parody out, so go check that out. But I explained it in that short cover, but I'll say it again. I didn't do much of a an update in that video because I thought I would may as well just do one big one since a lot has happened in the past couple of days and like in the past one or two weeks um, I actually made a list <clears throat> of things to mention so first off a really short quick update my video of the Miraculous Ladybug um, theme song that I sort of remade for people to use that got 10,000 views and I'm really happy about that so thank you to all those who watched and if you did end up using it and you're seeing this, please tag me because I want to see it. <laughs> I'm really interested to see what people are doing with it, if you're doing anything. Okay. Uh, another thing is, I just got back from South Australia. I'm originally from Melbourne, but <clears throat> I just got back uh, from South Australia visiting some family. And I actually did some driving up there. I don't have my driver's license yet. <laughs> so, uh, it was it was good to get some hours up. I drove quite a, I think maybe like four hours in total, so that is good progress so far. <laughs> um, <clears throat> one thing that I didn't expect to happen, but now that I look back across the year, I'm kind of not surprised that this happened. I got COVID. A um, couple of people know about that, a couple of people don't, but... The week before last week, I did get COVID, and it was not fun at all. I don't know why it would ever be fun, but <laughs> um, that's just what I say. Uh, I had, like, a lot of the symptoms, but not all of them. I didn't get fevery much, but I did lose my taste and smell for a couple of days, which messed with my head a little bit, considering how much I love food. <laughs> Um, but I don't have COVID anymore, so we're all good on that. I'm still a little bit, like, I still have a bit of a cough, and apparently it can go on weeks after, and it already has been a week and a bit since I first got COVID, so I'm hoping this cough goes away soon so that I can get back to it as soon as possible. I think I'm good to go, but, you know, just... Just in case. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, this is kind of like a personal update, but I think, you know what, it's something worth celebrating. Uh, if you remember from my last update video, I mentioned that I was hospitalized, and there was a story time video on that as well. I was hospitalized for myocarditis. And last night, which was a Thursday... <laughs> because I'm recording this on a Friday. Last night, which was a Thursday, I actually finished my medication, my heart medication. So that is good news for me. So in December, I'll get an ultrasound to see if the medication has worked, which hopefully it has. And then next year, I'll be getting an MRI to see if the, um, I guess, scarring as a result of the heart inflammation has disappeared and if it hasn't I actually don't know what's gonna happen but I guess we'll find out. So those are a majority of the updates. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have listed. No, not really. <laughs> um, I guess really just things to look out for are um, more covers and then a couple more story times as well, and also my, what's it called, my, I guess, video series about the common misconceptions in music, that'll be, that is on its way, I am, um, all the scripts have been written, I think I mentioned that a while back, actually, yeah, but, um, 
that will be recorded and uploaded very very soon <laughs> and I'm also planning another parody because those have been lots of fun so far and I'm also thinking of doing thinking of doing a vlog of me busking around Melbourne uh, Melbourne City so that will be fun to see if to see if that gets done and I don't know if you remember but there was a um a video that I had to postpone and like not postpone but like I I had to postpone the release of it and completely delete all the footage that I had it was the 60 amazing questions and 60 amazing answers video as a as a sequel to the 70 horrible questions with several, with 70 horrible answers because it ended up being a lot longer than the original video and it ended up being like 40 minutes and normally that would be okay lots of people upload 40 minute videos and longer but for some reason youtube decided it didn't want me to upload a 40 minute video in fact it doesn't even like it when i upload 20 minute videos or even videos over 10 minutes which i should be careful with this video soon because we're at six minutes now <clears throat> and i'm gonna try not to go over 10 minutes <laughs> but uh yeah, I've been I've been thinking that since I got COVID, I I had a little bit of a reflection of this year and realized health-wise, this year has just not been my year cuz generally I get sinus infection or well, sinusitis which leads to like coughing and sometimes a fever. Not fun. That's just that's just me <laughs> every year, multiple times a year. I had a really, really bad one before I got food poisoning. So there was another cold, I guess, and then the food poisoning. And then the chest pain, which ended up being my cutitis, which I got hospitalized for, which I had to take medication for, which I just got off. Which I also just... I just had COVID as well. And it's October, so I'm excited, but also really not excited to see what happens for November and December. Especially considering November is my birthday month. I'm just hoping I don't get sick. The last two years, actually, I have been sick on my birthday. And I had an exam. But, luckily, I'm graduated. I don't have to worry about exams. But I still have to worry about my health. <laughs> Oh my god, it's it's driving me a little bit insane, to be completely honest. But I think we're gonna get through it. Apart from that, releases are definitely uh, of uh, releases of music are definitely behind of schedule. Considering that Australia is going through a La Nina, I think that's how you pronounce it. But it basically means like more colder and more unpredictable weather. It's a three-year La Nina. As well, please forgive me if I'm butchering the pronunciation because that's how people have said it on the news and I'm not actually sure <laughs> but yeah I've been waiting for sunny weather to record a music video and do some more releases but hopefully because it's spring and gonna head into summer soon that will happen hopefully <laughs> but for now, I think those are all the updates. Yes, Miraculous Ladybug reached 10k. I did some driving, just got back from South Australia, finished my heart medication, talked about my myocarditis. I had COVID. This year has not been my year. And I will do a, I guess, New Year's Eve video. I also have planned here as well, um, which is just going to reflect on this year and what I plan to do next year in 2023. So, <laughs> okay, that's it for the update video. I hope to see you very, very soon. <clears throat> I plan to see you very, very soon in the first part of my new video series, Common Misconceptions in Music, part one. So yeah, I will see you then. And until then, this is Karame signing out. I will see you later. Bye-bye, Lavenders. I love you and take care of yourself because I haven't been. <laughs>